Our weed of the week is yellow nut sedge. This is a tough one because it can reproduce by tubers in addition to seed. Well, also it's tough because many people misidentify it as a grass. And if you look at it, it does kind of look like a grass at first, but it's not. It's a sedge, so it requires something completely different to get it under control. Well, how do you tell if it's a sedge versus a grass? Well, like you, you mentioned, Brian, you can pull it up and look at the root system underneath. Uh, that's a great identifying feature. The other thing with yellow nut sedge that's unique is it has a triangular stem. So when you feel it down at the base of the plant and you feel around that stem, it's three-sided. And you think, what? Oh, that isn't a big deal. But once you feel it, you'll realize, oh yeah, I've never felt another plant like this. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if you've got a sedge, just a normal grass product isn't going to work except for Dual. And Dual is a pretty good grass product that actually does have fairly decent activity on yellow nut sedge. So in many cases, that's the best option pre-emerge. Well, one of them that doesn't work very well that a lot of people will try is Roundup. We spray Roundup on yellow nut sedge. It is a waxy leaf that doesn't have hair, and a lot of that Roundup just runs right off. Oh, you say that though, Darren, but we've actually been able to make Roundup work okay on this particular weed if you spray it when it's small, <laughs> you spray it when the weather's good, and use a low water volume, three to five gallons of water and the highest labeled rate of Roundup, depending on your situation. Right, so it's not like your normal, hey, I'm gonna go spray a broad acre uh, application here. I'm spraying a whole quarter, and uh, there happens to be a little patch of nut sedge, and I just drive over it fast and, and blow stuff out there no you have to be really focused if you want to get it under control all right the other products that work permit in corn or bassagran in soybeans there's also the combination of bassagran and atrazine called latic that can get used in corn so there aren't a whole lot of options to this thing but here's the good news we don't normally see this in well-drained areas so make sure you're fixing the drainage get good crop canopy and generally speaking your yellow nut sedge problem will go away one other note that same active ingredient that's in permit is in lawn and garden products too so you do have options if you get it in your lawn grass well that's it for our weed of the week but stay tuned iron talk is coming up next